Hey folks, Cliff from Aptronica here. Um, I'm working on some ideas for automating Tornado and I figured I'd share that with you. If you're not familiar with the dictator function in Tornado, it basically allows you to automate all of the controls uh, at the same time using uh, different patterns. So the patterns are selectable at the top. I'm using one called halfway up here and as you can see moving the slider changes all the knobs at the same time. Um, so the cool thing about this is that the dictator slider can be controlled via MIDI by just setting uh, the control number uh, which here I've got to seven, set to 72. So. So what I want to do is I want to use MIDI, uh, use MIDI LFOs to basically control the dictator and tornado. If you're not familiar with MIDI LFOs, it's a cool little app that basically gives you four different LFOs you can use uh, to send MIDI CC values, um, and they're modulated. Uh, you know, with these different waveforms. So you've got, you know, sine, triangle, uh, uh, saw in both directions, and square and sample and hold. So we're going to use this ramp. I'm doing kind of something strange here, which is I'm running MIDI Designer Pro uh, in the background, which, you know, normally you would use it for foreground controls, but but it is pretty cool uh, to use it in the background sometimes when you want to have more granular control over the uh, over the either the range or the specific values of CCs that you want to send. Um, so I've got two little con uh, fader controls set up here, and one of them. Uh, is going to show the actual value. So if I'm going to go ahead and start this. So on the right, you're seeing the actual value that's getting sent through to MIDI Designer. And on the left, what I've done is I've used uh, the number of ticks feature uh, in the control design to set it to just have eight ticks. So what that means is it'll take the value in and kind of, um, you know, confine that to eight different uh, values. So the reason I'm interested in doing this is that I want to use my BeatStep Pro to send a MIDI pattern to uh, actually to Alchemy, which is running on the on the same iPad with uh, with. Tornado, and I want the movement through the effects on Tornado to be more rhythmic. So I'm using the Beat Step Pro to actually drive the clock on MIDI LFOs. Okay, so that's just a straight up uh, drum sound or drum pattern coming. Uh, as you can see, now MIDI LFOs is picking up the uh, the beats here, and I've got it set to cycle through on every four bars. Um, let's just go ahead and show you. So I've got uh, Alchemy running here in the background with a little drum kit, and that's what you're hearing. Um, so now, and I'm going to set this to correct channel and just show you this so now um, the slider on the left is is actually controlling the one on the right and you can hear that the effects are changing more with the beat so even though I'm sending uh, a linear progression of CC's MIDI Designer Pro is actually kind of that it's 
actually receiving those values in those steps. And as you can hear, it kind of gives it more of a rhythmic progression through there. So let me just show you how this is accomplished um, here in MIDI Designer. So I'm going to double click. Num of ticks, this is generally 127, which is going to give you the full range of 0 to 127, all possible values. Uh, but setting that num of ticks or number of ticks to 8 basically will divide that range into 8 different values. One last cool little thing that I wanted to show you is that, uh, in case you didn't know this, by default, um, Tornado will send CC values for each of these knobs um, and it's kind of hard-coded to CC 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And if I come over to Alchemy, I've set it so that the sliders are receiving those CCs. Not only am I automating Tornado, but by using Tornado, I'm actually automating uh, Alchemy as well, which is kind of a cool bonus. And again, uh, because I'm automating um, using MIDI Designer in the background, I'm getting only those eight steps as opposed to a, you know, the more gradual linear CCs.